Hi everyone. In this part, I will focus on derivative of trig some trigonometric functions. Derivative of sine is cosine. Derivative of cosine is minus sine. Derivative of tangent x is secant square, and derivative of secant is secant times tangent x. Derivative of cosecant x is minus co cosecant x times cotangent x, and finally, derivative of cotangent x is cosecant square. And let's let's look at let's focus on the function sine x. And as you know, the graph of sine is something like this. Okay. And the second graph is the graph of derivative of sine, which is cosine x. Now consider consider all these lines please this line this line this line and finally that one if you look at all these lines they actually give the slope of the function at the given points okay so what are all these slopes? As you see, they are all horizontal lines and the slope of these lines is equal to zero. Let's look at the graph of derivative of sine function, which is cosine function, and check all these points. As you see, at the same point, at the same point, since the slope is zero, derivative of sine which is cosine is zero at the same point if you look at this point you will also see derivative of sine is zero at this point since the slope is zero we have the same thing here and also here okay it is the one conclusion another result is that let me clear the graph. If you look at the graph again, for instance, for this line, or the slope of the graph of sine at this point is something like this, right? If you, if you are here, then it's something like this. So, As you see, from here to here, the, the graph of derivative of sine function is negative. If you look at the slope of sine function in between this point and this point, it is slanted to the left. This is why the slope is negative. This is why derivative of sine function the graph of derivative of sine function is negative on this interval okay for instance if you look at derivative of if you look at the slope of sine at this point or at this point it is slanted to the right so it means it means the function is increasing and since the slope is slanted to the right uh, the derivative of sine is positive on on the given interval okay so if you look at this part you will see that derivative of the graph of derivative of sine is positive so it is there are two nice results of derivative now how do we find derivative of sine or other, or any other trigonometric functions let's focus on the function sine let's say f of x is given f of x is given as sine x i will use the formal definition of derivative f prime of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h 
x plus h minus f of x divided by h okay since uh, the function is sine x let me write down the function sine x plus h minus sine x divided by h and next step is that let me clear this part and continue this is equal to I need some extra space this is equal to limit h tends to 0 okay so instead of sine x plus h I use an expression which, which is identical to sine x plus h you know the formula of sine a plus b I directly uh, use this formula sine x cosine h it is not cosine hyperbolic function plus cosine x sine h okay and minus minus sine x of course divided by h this is equal to limit let me this is equal to okay if I take the parentheses of sine x here if I take the parentheses of sine x I have let me take the parentheses of sine x I have limit since sine x does not depend on the limit it does not have it does not uh, has the parameter h h tends to 0 we have in the parentheses of sine x we have cosine h minus 1 divided by h plus cosine x cosine x times limit h tends to 0 sine h over h sine h over h okay and finally this is sine x since this limit you may study on this limit but uh, if you wish you can apply L'Hopital's rule to find this limit this is 0 when h tends to 0 this limit becomes 0 plus you may know also that limit when h tends to 0 sine h over h is equal to 1 so this is equal to cosine x so we prove that derivative of sine x is cosine x using the formal definition of derivative uh, simply you can use ladies and gentlemen you can use definition of tangent which is sine over cosine and use the property of derivative for division for for rational function we can easily find derivative of uh, tangent x okay let me express this let me clear this part okay and obtain try to obtain derivative of tangent x since tangent x is sine x over cosine x derivative of this is derivative of numerator times denominator derivative of sine times cosine is cosine square cosine square x minus derivative of denominator which is minus sine sin times numerator sine so we have plus sine square x divided by cosine square x so it is the rule for derivative of rational function as you know cosine square plus sine square is always equal to 1 so we have 
1 over cosine square x which is equal to second square x so it's all